Who's thirsty for more of him on tonight? Who's thirsty for more of him on tonight? Hallelujah. We're thirsty for you, God. We're thirsty for you, God. We're thirsty for you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Yeah. I will swim the ocean just to find
Lift your hands and worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's worship. Lord, we love you. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you. Lord. We love you. We love you. Express your love on him. Express your love on him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you, God. More than anything, Lord. We just want to say that we love you more than anything. Hallelujah. Nothing can separate. Hallelujah. 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 We love you, God. We love you. We love you. We love you, God. We love you. Jesus, we love you. Hallelujah.
ago through the prayer line through Periscope and we've been together ever since Amen. every morning we've been connected every morning and he's been a blessing to my life he's been a blessing to my life and to many others that are here tonight and we want to thank you prophet thank you and now I will hang over the 
the microphone to you. Hallelujah. I pray that the Lord will use you in a mighty way tonight. Hallelujah. And I pray that each and one of us will leave different from the way we came in tonight. In Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody put your hands together for the Lord. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, I'm a father. You are worthy of all praise to you.
Kali Rice. I want us to do something. Amen. Let's rise. I'm about to set you up. Somebody say set you up. Amen. Those in the back there, can you quickly move forward a little bit? Hallelujah. I want to transport you to a place of promotion. Amen. Hallelujah. You shall be the head and on the tail. Ah, double, one, one level, double level. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory in the highest. Amen. I bless God. So this is what you're gonna do. Amen. Find the neighbor. Grab it the hand of the neighbor. Grab the hand of somebody beside you. Hallelujah. Amen. And as you look into their eyes, I want you to prophesy. Oh, I'm saying one person belongs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grab the hand of that person and look into their eyes. And say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever you need tonight. Whatever you need in this atmosphere. As I hold your hand. As I hold your hand. Receive your testimony. Receive your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and begin to pray. Find the next person, grab the hand of the next person quickly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Say this down and clap. Every good thing that has died in your life. As I hold your hand, as I hold your hand, it comes back to life. 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 Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every good thing that has died in your life, they come back to life. They come back to life. They come back to life. In Jesus name. Go to the next person. The next person. Hallelujah. Grab the hand of the person. Look at the person. Say you are blessed. You are a carrier of God's glory. Say you are too low there. You are too low there. With God's glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. As you hold your hand, say this after me. Say after this conference. The good doors that was closed against you. I command that door to open. The doors of breakthrough. Doors of promotion. Open. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let the doors be open. The doors of glory. The doors of blessing. The doors of opportunity. The doors. The doors. Oh God, let the doors be open. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Finally, leave your seats. Find another person quickly. One more person. Hallelujah. See the same person? No more. Find another person. Cross over. Cross over. Hallelujah. Amen. My brother. Amen. My brother. My brother. Oh. Okay. Contact. Glory to God. Praise God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Say, I lose the glory of God. I lose the joy of God. I lose the anointing of God. Every dormant gift in your life. Every dormant gift in your life. Every dormant gift in your life. Be activated now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Thank you. 
the glory in the atmosphere. We're all over the house. Put your hands together for the choir. You've done fabulous. My goodness. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Many thanks to the pastor of this church. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. My brother all the way. God bless you, sir. Pastor. Amen. Uh, Anderson. Amen. Hallelujah. And his dear wife. Glory to God. Somebody put your hands together for the Lord. It's about to rain again. I'm telling you. Amen. Real rain of revival has begun. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. We feel something. In, I could feel the frequency of the Spirit. How many of you feel it? Every vibration, everything inside of me. This house, get ready for new no prayers. <laughs> Those who left you, despising you, will come back down now. Oh, you hear me? There's a real praise that's about to break in the atmosphere. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. What a mighty, mighty move of the spirit that is about to begin, brother. God is about to send you four mutual intercessors that he has been grooming in New York. God is about to trace them here. These are people who have been trained Pray, I've been, I've been, been in prayer in the wilderness for a while. God is about to bring them to your church, Amen. and they're going to birth the ministry to another season in prayer. Hallelujah! Put your hands together for the Lord again. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! What our friend we are in Jesus. You know that song, right? You gonna help me?
sing Hosanna. <laughs> the day when the trumpet shall sound and you see the chariots yeah. and you see the king of glory come in his clouds. Hallelujah. That day will be a beautiful day. Hallelujah. 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 All the way Pastor Tiana, you have a word for us. Come, come. Five minutes. Come and greet the people and be a blessing. <laughs> Amen. Behind every successful man is a powerful woman. Amen. Somebody put your hand Amen. together for this woman of God. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. You have the microphone? In the name of Jesus. Ele está nesse lugar. He is over here today. E ele é aqui. He is welcome here. Oh yes. Em cada coração. In each heart. Em nesta casa. In this house. Em diversas línguas. In various languages. Porque o nosso Deus é um só. Because God is only one. Eu louvo ele em português. I worship him in Portuguese. Você louva ele em inglês. Yeah. You worship him in English. Yeah. E a glória. And the glory é dele, is his. Para ele, for him. Para todo sempre. É Porque o poder é por ele, para ele. São todas as coisas. Eu amo este Deus. I love this Porque God. ele é um Deus que alcança todos. He's a God todas as línguas. Todos os povos. All todas as nações. All se dobram diante dele. Porque ele é o nosso Deus. He is our God. E eu me regozijo no Senhor. Eu me alegro no Senhor. And I'm happy with the Lord. Porque Ele nos ama tanto. Because He loves us so much. E nos visita nessa noite. He visits us tonight. Com a sua glória. With His glory. Com o seu amor. With His love. Com a sua graça. With His grace. Com o seu poder. With His power. Com a sua virtude. With His power. Ele nos ama tanto nessa noite. He loves us so much tonight. Ele me coma na basura e me ama na basura. Que enquanto estamos aqui. He loves us because we are here. Ele visita nossa alma. He visits our soul. Ele nos visita com cura. He visits us with cure. Ele nos visita com milagre. He visits us with miracles. He's the most intimate one to us. Ele é nosso churinho da lavação. Eu não sei o que você pediu. I don't know what you asked for. Eu não sei o que você tem esperado. I don't know what you've been waiting for. Mas eu sei que ele está aqui. But I know that he is here. E ele vai fazer. And he's gonna do it. Ele vai fazer. 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 Ele vai fazer. Quando você louvava. When you worship. É quando você louvava. And when you were worshiping. A glória descia. The glory came down. É quando você louvava. You were worshiping. O pai entrava. He came in. É quando você louvava. You were worshiping. A glória manifestava. The glory was manifest. The Lord was 
Alléluia, Alléluia. Amen, Amen, Amen. Ça va nous changer, Amen. Nous allons se réveiller avec tout le monde qui parle. Quatre, 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 quatre. Glory to God. Alléluia. You get it?
Let your glory overshadow everyone. As they sat together, together, as a cloud of tongues of fire, let it sit on everyone today. My master, my Jehovah, let the realms of heaven break open in this atmosphere. I decree bondages of pressure dies tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, strength on from above. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let it be released. Let men tremble because of the fear of God, because of the fire of Elohim. In the name of Jesus, everyone, everyone, shall fire seven times. In the name of Jesus, the river that flowed in the book of Ezekiel, Father, will stir up the river. Let the river flow. From person to person, person to person. As the word of God comes forth, oh Jehovah, oh Jehovah, stand up our river, stand up our inner man. Let us dance in your glory. Let us be swept in your glory. In the name of Jesus, overcome us in your glory. Let us dine with you, oh God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I release the joy of the Lord in the atmosphere. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You can put your hands together and you can have your seat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So good to see you today. <laughs> it's such a glory atmosphere. Amen. Amen. The old, listen to me. Even right now, as you are sitting, there is a stream that is flowing. I don't know if you feel something. Today, this morning began a new chapter not only in this ministry but in your lives amen, amen. something has been released some of your feet have been washed and now you're being released in a new ocean this is the very day that a new chapter a new book has begun in your life Hallelujah. I pray for you that the test that will follow after this event, because every time you receive a true anointing, you must be tested. You see, these young guys will carry to man transfiguration. As they were in man transfiguration, by the time they came down with Jesus, there was a man with an issue with his son, and it brought forth some reports to the Father, to Jesus, your disciples. Hallelujah. There is always a time you come from the mountain that the enemy will always want to come after you. But I decree, every storm prepared against your life, after today, God will go ahead, scatter the storms. He will scatter the storm on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. Strange grace. We give you the grace. New York, oh New York. God said today, this morning, that great giants are about to emerge in this land. Great warriors, great servants are spreading forth. What is the glory? What is the glory? The glory, the glory realm. When this glory is released on you, you become a glory is a rope or a garment. It becomes upon you everywhere you go. Are you hearing me today? Everywhere you go, God goes ahead with you. Adam and Eve carry a cloth on them called the glory of God. They were naked, but there was a covering over them. This glory is what the enemy comes after in an individual. When you are a carrier of God's glory, every kind of enemy will come after you when they come after you they come after your heart amen when a glory is upon your life this is when you see the sick and even the sickness trembles at your presence when you're a carrier of god's glory every door shuts against you opens up 
when you're carrying off God's glory, you speak things in the atmosphere and they come to pass. The glory. Somebody shout the glory. glory. Somebody shout the glory. glory. I pray that today, even as we're going to speak, that God will keep you in the pinnacle of his glory. Every man carries a level of glory. It is your glory lies solutions to your problem. Without glory, there is no solution. When, when people talk about your glory, talks about your season, your celebration, who you are. Joseph went through seasons in life, through the pit, through all kinds of situations, and David. But when you carry on glory, there are seasons of preparations that God will take you through before you get there. And before you rule in your throne, there are steps you have to go through. So I want you that so in case those who are just receiving the fire for the first time, you don't go home and just be so happy. And then when the storm breaks out, you say, Pastor is lying to me. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Somebody say the glory. glory. Somebody shout the glory. glory. When the glory of God is upon your life, it's an evidence that you have come to a place of rest. Somebody say place of rest. Before the glory manifests, you will go through a season of wilderness. That is the first school. Why the wilderness? Because in the beginning, when God created Adam and Eve, before their creation, everything was made available. Amen? In the book of Genesis, everything was made available. But when Adam and Eve were placed there, dressed up in glory, amen, and now they have lost the glory, but the interesting part is that they were brought into rest. They seized from their labor. Because why? The glory of God, everything was made available. But now, the, every human on the earth is brought to that place where they are challenged. Amen? Somebody's challenged. Challenge. There is a debt within us that is longing for his presence. Longing for his glory. Hallelujah. Lift your two hands. I begin to talk to the Lord and say today, speak to me, Lord. Open my eyes, open my understanding. Let your river begin to flow today. More than she did with the others. Kalema Telegosufus. In Jesus' name. On Friday, we learned about the Kabod. Uh, the the, the How many of you remember that? Ikabod. The glory had departed on Friday. How the dead enemy is going after destinies to ruin destinies to make sure Ichabod is operating their lives. Once an Ichabod, once an enemy introduces Ichabod in your life, initially you think it's favor, but when the enemy comes around, he introduces wrong people in your life. Somebody say wrong people. Wrong people. Wrong people. <laughs> Do you know that when Lucifer began to speak to Eve, it was a different story? How many of you remember that? When Lucifer began to speak to Eve through a serpent, he didn't just raise the serpent, he washed. Come here, brother, God bless you. He washed her. Eve communicated with serpent, and the serpent was innocent. Everything was working good. Hallelujah. And guess what happened? As he was studying Eve, Satan said, Ah, Eve and Lucifer, and Eve and the serpent have a relationship. And the devil desired to enter the serpent. And from that day, she, he began to ask Eve questions. Have God commanded you not to eat any of these? Hallelujah. And something happened. There's going to be a shift. In your life. Somebody say a shift. shift. Somebody say a shift. shift. Hallelujah. 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 First John chapter 2, verse 27. If you 
there ready for us. Chapter 2, verse 27. Received of him abided in you. Ye need not that any man teach you, but that the same anointing teacheth you all things. And it is the truth, and it's no lie. And even as he hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. Let me say this to you there is a river that is about to break forth in the atmosphere. Tonight, if you came here with any sickness or disease, I see the formation of the creative hand of the Lord. It is your season. Backs, spinal backs, crazy called spines will be straightened. Are you hearing me today? I see the hand of the Lord arising in the atmosphere right now. Lift your hands and say, Lord, visit me today. Lord, visit me today. There is a realm of glory in that if you enter, everything you have been looking for will be given to you. I see restoration being released in the atmosphere. Some of you that you are here, there is going to be a restoration as you are going back. You and your husband have been in a conflict. God will begin to restore. Restore. Restore the union. That daughter that seems like something has taken over her. Right now, I see the chain breaking. I see the chain breaking. I see the chain breaking. She's been released now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The glory, somebody say the glory. glory. Somebody say the glory. glory. When the glory of God, you are carrying out God's glory. Amen. There are some situations that you, you must understand that will give way. In your life, just be a worshiper. Somebody say, be a worshiper. Be a worshiper. Somebody say, be a worshiper. Be a worshiper. When you are when you are a glory carrier, always reflect on the victories that God has placed inside of you. Never look back into the wrong. Never allow depression. Never what allow what depression. depression. Because in the glory, there is your faith. In what is the glory? The glory is what carbon of the spirit. Somebody say carbon. That is the heaviness and the consecration of God's presence. A man with God's glory, before God fully qualifies you into that realm of glory, he makes sure you go through a season of what? Rejection. Somebody say rejection. rejection. Somebody say rejection. rejection. Because if God releases that glory before the rejection, and get so arrogant yes. and forget where you get from. This glory, when it comes upon you, it separates you from your peers. You go through a place whereby people question your call. Hallelujah. You become ridiculed. Even your parents doubt your call. They pick out people who are not qualified. And when you, you know who you are. When Every glory carrier has a big heart. Big heart. Because they attempt big things. Hallelujah. When, when, if the glory sits on you, 
if the glory sits on you, you've you will become the blessed and the most wealthiest man on the earth. Because anything you say will happen in the realm. Hallelujah. The molecules of yourselves. <laughs> I see the Lord entering into your blood, even as we speak. Blood issues. God is drying up now. Menstrual issues. God is dissolving waters. Holy Spirit of the living God. Migraines. God is melting that now. Headaches. God is melting that. You've not been sleeping for a while. I see the Lord removing that. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God. You'll be suffering night depressions. God is lifting all that. He's lifting up the veil. So Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. I hope. Lord will help us today. Lord will help us today. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 1. Remember this. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form, void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the waters. And God said, What? And God said, What? God said, Let there be light. Amen. Let there be light. There is a release of what He's about to do today. <coughs> Father, let the river flow in this atmosphere now. Let the river begin to flow in the atmosphere. Lord, over, over your people now. Spirit of God, let your hands come upon your people everywhere they are right now. Let your glory, your glory. Change the quickly. Just stretch forth your hands right now, wherever you are. Just stretch it forth. Stretch it forth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let there be deposits now. Let there be a deposit of the anointing, even upon your hands right now. In the name of Jesus, God is releasing the fire, the anointing, even upon your life. Right now, right now, right now. Be a receiver. Robo shida rama handa la badosh. Hello, for this house, begin open your mouth and begin to pray the spirit. Rebe meke pi a prakadosh. Lebe te lebe via paranda haya. Rebe zuza man te lebe on hondolio. Rebe lebe via sukata bahaya. Rebe be rebe be via parandosh. Lebe de rebe meke via bradia. Rebe de rebe be kapon dore kataya. The glory, the glory, the glory, the glory. Rebe be be rebe be kapa. Lando on hondos. Rebe be kazuza man deri. Rebe be rebe be kaparandia. Rebe de ria paranda rebe be. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 New York is about to experience a new level of visitation. Great visitation shall be upon upon this city. Many of you, when you leave from here, you will never be the same again. Amen. You will begin to see things in the realm of the spirit, even in your dream. The outpouring of the Lord. There's a major fire that has released upon you. That even as you begin to pray tonight, tomorrow, you're going to see an overwhelming presence take over you. It's going to be very strong. And the spirit of intimidation and fear over this region that has exercised its dominion over you is being broken from your life. Broken from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. You will run. You will run in the spirit and you will not be hindered. Amen. You will not be hindered in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Thank you my father. Glorious God. 
immortal God, invisible God, immortal God, of great love. Joel chapter 2. Immortal God, invisible God, immortal God, our great hour. Amen. You know, many times when you're in a place, God will always ask and demand some things from you. Before a revival can break out in your house, in your life, you must go to a place of intercession. So if somebody say intercession, intercession. somebody say intercession. Intercession will always precede, must precede revival. Yes. Before anything, any move must take place in your life, in your household. God will always look for an individual who can pray. I can pray. And can pray. I will leave the body of the family. Amen? And if God finds that man, God will begin to release secrets and revelations in that. Hallelujah. God is not interested in looking for preachers. The other points, but you're looking for preachers who can what? Pray. It's your prayer life, it's your powerhouse. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. If you lose your prayer life, you've lost your mouth, your voice. Amen. Yes. If the creation is to grow, if, if, if you are to rule over creation, if you are to rule over the stars, the elements of the earth, it takes prayer. Somebody say prayer. prayer. Somebody say prayer. prayer. Joshua stand, pointed to the stars, he sunk the steel. Stand still. Why? Through the unction of prayer. Someone say the unction of prayer. prayer. Hallelujah. If man is to operate on the mountaintop, you need prayer. You need an anointing of prayer to come upon you. Hallelujah. The only reason and the only suffering that is happening in America now is because we don't have men willing to pay the price. We don't have men willing to die on the altar. We spend one hour on the altar, we come down. One hour on the altar will come down. We are looking for men who can stay for hours and for days without coming down. Yes. Amen. This conference is to stir up hunger within your soul. Somebody say hunger. hunger. Somebody say hunger. hunger. Hallelujah. In the morning, God began to share a secret. He said, if a man can speak in tongues for four hours every day, every day, consecutively for the next three months, he will plunge himself and his generation to a place of mighty revival. Hallelujah. When you begin to pray in an unknown language, you begin to stir up the rivers within you. Stir up the rivers within you. You cannot just pray in one language and you slow down and you begin to pray in English. You pray in English, <laughs> you are giving the enemy room over your life. Amen. When you want to stir up the atmosphere, you engage the Holy Ghost and you hold him and hold him and you hold him just like Jacob. Jacob held the Lord, an angel, till the breaking of the day. Why? Because he knew that Saul, Esau, was going to deal with him. He knew that he took the better of Esau and Esau was mad and was coming after him with great rage. How many of you know when your sister has a conflict with you? How many of you know that you can never be a prayer warrior until you have a wizard assigned against you? Amen? Some of us will never be a prayer machine until some witches will try to kill us. Hallelujah. Pastor, I saw this python in my dream. What can I do? What can I do? Come to the church. And they will come to the church immediately. <laughs> Why? Because now something is chasing them. And usually the Lord will allow such things to build your faith. Somebody say build your faith. Build One of the natures of an ego is that as the ego begins to fly and there's a prey coming after him, an intruder, an enemy coming after the ego, he faces the sun and begins to look at the sun with, with speed. Now, it's only the ego that has eyes and lenses to focus on the sun. Every other bird cannot. So when the ego focuses on that, the enemy backs off because of the heat of the sun. Amen. Amen. This very day, God is raising generations, men and women of God, who can pray. Somebody say can pray. Amen. I was watching a 
man in South America praying for the boy with cerebral palsy. And this boy was just moving around, making noise. And this man who just came out from the hour of prayer, days of prayer and fasting, grabbed hold of this boy. It's on YouTube. And began to pray for this boy. Within my eyes, this boy transformed, jumped out, and became normal. Normal. This is within five minutes. The old place erupted in glory. And the Lord said, I'm only searching for men who are willing to pay the price. Yeah. Do you know that when your church is down and there's no revival, it takes only one intercessor willing to stand in the gap. Oh, yes. And fire will take the whole place. Yes. Are you hearing me today? Oh, yes. If you have an intercessor, be a friend to that person. Yeah. <laughs> Never persecute any man a woman who is a man of prayer. Anybody who likes the altar of prayer and holds the home by the altar, connect with them. Do you hear me? Connect with them. <laughs> I will. Jesus, man, Let me tell you my story. Amen. Hallelujah. I gave my life to Christ November. 17 to uh, November, November 17, 1999. Hallelujah. 1999, 1998. <coughs> Amen. 98. November. And so, since that time, God has been doing something. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And my life has just been a life of testimonies. Will I say 98? No. 94. What am I talking about? <coughs> Glory to God. Amen. You know what happened? I came home one day and I saw my mom doing the 21 days, which she does every August. I was in the school campus. So one day I came home. She was so much glory on her. Very unique. And I looked at her. I was 16 years old at then. And I looked at her and said, Mom, what are you doing? Why there's so much glory on you? She said, Son, if you want the power of God, go fast. I said, really? I said, I'm going too fast. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I stopped eating. So Wednesday, I said, oh, nothing happened. She said, go fast again. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now, there was something that came out from my mouth. When she said it, there was a power that hindered me. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I went into fasting again. On Saturday, 2 a.m., I turned in my sleep. You know how you sleep? It becomes very sweet. So I turn to my right. An angel stands there with the brightness. Now, at that time, I wasn't hearing messages on angels. He said, son, get up and pray. Get up and pray. Get up and pray. He kept saying this for one minute. The whole room was bright. I kept looking at this. Is it a dream? Is it a cartoon? Is it animation? Get up and pray. Get up and pray. Till that experience vanished. So the next day I took my mom. I said, I saw this. He said, Son, you need to embrace the water. Then she told the pastor. The pastor said, That is a very deep revelation. From that day, I began to see myself in stadiums, ministering. Hallelujah. And I know that God is erupting, is raising not just me, but many others. Many. From that moment, I was thrown into a season of serving in the ministry. I began to serve in the ministry, serving a pastor, no title, just an intercessor. When you enter my rooms, you see pictures all over. Amen? And every weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, was strictly no water, no food. Every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, no water, no food. He reached a realm that when the man of God starts ministering, I'm at the back over there. The moment he takes the microphone, I don't see them. God did not raise me as an usher. I was a unique assignment in the church. I stand at the back in the middle. And all I do 
They don't have this in America here. I just... What are you doing? Holy Ghost. Spirit of revelation. Break out in the atmosphere. Fall upon the pastor. Let, oh God, Monday, let the light of God break in the place. As he speaks, oh God, open the wall. Revive your people. Empower your people. And connect it to the Holy Ghost. And all you see me, this is not a matter of I'm trying to go pee. No, it's still one spot till he finishes ministry. Sometimes he's so strong, the heavens break upon and start weeping. Just one spot. Sometimes they, an usher is saying, please, can you help me? You can move. You can move. You throw, you freeze up because of your assignment. So it reaches a point, the man of God starts connecting with you. Because there's wheels of glory. I remember one time, the man of God was ministering. Went to a dark church. I was behind. And the whole place was chaos. So much warfare. And then all of a sudden, this lady who was heavily possessed was charging up. And the man of God pointed and says, deal with that. Now, before he said, deal with that, I saw chariots of fire coming from heaven. That was the first time I saw that revelation while I was standing. When these chariots began to throw down, you know, when, when the glory comes, you begin to feel what? Your movement to your skin. I begin to feel something. And that was when my, my eyes, everything changed. And I looked at the lady. The lady began to run back. I mean, with her back. Run back. The whole place erupted, scattered. I don't know what happened. But my eyes, everything changed. It was like lightning coming down. It's not because God was using me, but because I made myself available. Amen. If you make this to me, Jesus is not interested. I'll tell you this. A woman of God called me today. He said, How come this woman, she's a giver in my ministry, in the, in the ministry? Major giver, number one giver. But now she's going through financially. She's suffering financially. What is going on? She can't even eat. Had to support her for six months. What is going on? Oh my God. I said, let me tell you something. Let me tell you a secret. The Bible says in March chapter 21, Jesus entered into the temple and he chased all of them that bought and sold in the temple. He whipped them. Amen? In literal sense, if I find a 30-year-old man now, a man who is a 30-year-old, walks through the door, begins to whip everybody, <laughs> begins to break down this. Some of you will say, this is not the Holy Ghost. Call the police now. Isn't that right? The temple, he made the temple. He's a young boy. Temple has been built for 100 years. What's his business? He enters the temple, wrecks the whole place. And he says, you should, in my house shall be called what? House of what? Prayer. But you have made it what? Ten of thieves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at that word again. You have made it what? A ten of thieves. Somebody say my house. My house. He didn't say your house. This is my house. My house. You have made it a ten of thieves. The word meaning ten of thieves, meaning you have neutralized it. You have shifted the focus. It's, it's not more potent anymore. Somebody shot fire. fire. Somebody shot fire. fire. Tap your neighbor, shot fire. fire. Tap your neighbor, say fire. fire. No, no, no. And somebody's holding your hands. I said, tap your neighbor, say fire. fire. Somebody said, fire. fire. Somebody said, fire. 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 One more time, fire. fire. Uh, they're not dealing with attitude. Say, fire. fire. Uh huh. That sleep must drop out in the name of Jesus. If I catch your eyes closed again, I will lay hands on you and say fire. fire. Amen. And you know my own is serious. <laughs> Glory to God. So, I spoke to the sister. Amen. Do they, why am I saying this? Many of many people will send tithes to churches, we do all kinds of things. But if you want to send a tithe, which is the right ministry? To send your tithe. Which is what? 
the right ministry. Strengths. 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 Which is the right ministry? A house of prayer. Someone say house of prayer. House of prayer. Someone say house of prayer. House of prayer. Every house of prayer that deals and prays for the nations and goes to a place. A place of repentance. Amen. It's the right place. Do you know? And I'm thinking to explain to the lady. I said, let me tell you something. If she's a faithful titer and the pastor is not a titer, it affects everybody. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There were times, listen to me, at the early times, at the beginning times, during my struggle, I noticed, and I'll say this again, hallelujah, that sometimes, you know, when you are really serious with God, the devil will bring challenges. If you bring challenges, hold on to God, because you know what? If you entrust ministry into your hands, and you begin to dip your hands into the ministry basket, Huh? It affects everybody. Yes. It affects everybody. I know what I'm saying. Oh, yes. I've experienced that. And the only time when I was going through lap, I did my hands in, in, in the offerings. And I began to see challenges in the life of people. And the Lord called me. He said, Son, if you want to prosper, and everybody to prosper, don't touch. Don't touch. Amen? And how to be. Everything that comes into the ministry is for the ministry. And what is for me, I, I get my own resources and my own finances separate from the ministry. Are you hearing me? When I made that vow at the altar that I will not touch what is God, I will not be a liability to the work of God, but be a blessing. From that day, everybody that came came under open heavens. Did you hear me? Came on out of When a minister begins to touch the finances of the church, you come under a curse yes. that flows down to the congregation. And even if you are a giver in that church, it affects your finances. Amen? People don't understand. I'm saying something here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at what it says in Deuteronomy chapter 28. It shall come to pass if thou shall hearken diligently unto the voice of my of thy God to observe and to do not some of his commandments but all which I commanded this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above not one nation above all nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. And he begins to say, Blessed, everybody read it. Oh, let's stand up and read this one. Heavy. I want everybody to read it to aggression before we see it. Let's stand up quickly. I will read this. Hallelujah. Let's go. Blessed shall I be in the city, blessed in the field, blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, blessed be the fruit of the ground, the fruit of the cattle, the increase, and the flock of the sheep. Now, verse 5, everybody. Blessed shall be, blessed shall be thy basket and thy what? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you can have your seat. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe what to do, all of his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. Look at what it says in verse 17. Curse shall be what? Thy basket and thy stock. Okay? 18. God shall be what? The fruit of the body, the land. Hallelujah. Now, if you keep on reading, you realize that one person who comes under disobedience, amen, can affect 
the seed, even in their family. Yes. The seed, the children, that they are affected because you are in disobedience. Either you're not fighting or whatever it is. You come, you expose yourself to a curse. Hallelujah. What if you begin to break the Bible and you don't do all he has commanded you to do? Or hear his voice. You expose your ministry, your family under a curse. It's very, very dangerous. Amen? But when you're in obedience, everybody begins to prosper. Everybody begins to prosper. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This unction of obedience is needful in the camp of God. Jesus said, upon this rock will I build my church. Number one key, be a church builder. Someone say be a church builder. Be a church builder. When the, the Lord uses a church, he focuses on the kingdom. He says, seek ye first is what? Kingdom and his righteousness. Your, your, your priority should be what? Kingdom. When you use the church, the church, everybody has a church or a structure. They want the church to be better than this one and this one. Amen? Individually, your church can be your talent. Your church can be your gift. Amen? If God gives you a talent and you make use of it, some make use of it, some, of, some people bury it. Amen? Why some multiply the talents that God has given to them? Hallelujah. That is, it can be a church. But when we say kingdom, it means that you can grow from being a church to becoming a father of many churches. How do you be father of many churches? A church is a nation. Somebody say church is a nation. Church is a nation. And a nation is a person. Now, when you come to that place and you begin to look at nations, and you begin to pray for nations, you begin to pray for churches in this region, you have stepped into fatherhood in the spirit. You know when a baby intercessor, you become a warrior for Christ. Somebody say warrior for Christ. Somebody say warrior for Christ. In the name of Jesus. Today you will receive the finals of prayer. Do you hear know what I say? I say you will receive what? The virus of intercession is going to come upon you. I say it's going to come upon you. I say it's going to come upon you. Hallelujah. We prayed for a woman in South America, Guyana. And after that, my goodness, her life changed. There are people that are queuing, asking for prayers. Amen. Every Saturday, the place is crowded for deliverance. Now, it's going to happen to you today. Amen. It's going to happen to you today. Amen. I say it's going to happen to you today. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Fresh power, fresh anointing. Hallelujah. Sometimes, you know, many of, many of us are so privileged now. If you really want to stir up the fire, amen, hallelujah, just go on YouTube. Start watching revival messages. Revival, revival messages, clicks. Amen. Just start praying. It doesn't matter how young you are or how old you are. If you are really hungry, God will connect with you. Amen. Many times, I will sit and I watch A. Allen's videos and weep and cry. Pour something upon me, O God. Pour something upon me. Hallelujah. Agonize in the place of prayer. And you will see nations being released and set free before your eyes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Before we pray, hallelujah. <sighs> when I finally came to that place whereby the Lord began, I, be, I knew now that God has called me on my assignment. I went to a meeting and a prophet of God said, said to me, He said, Man of God, you don't know who you are, but God is about to release and reveal Himself to you that you are a voice. You are a voice. My heart says, What? Amen. In the place of Kansas, I was invited to just, you know, be a blessing in the church. And then I was giving, extending an invitation to go speak in Haiti. Haiti. Somebody say Haiti. Haiti. Haiti was my first international uh, mission trip to go preach. And everybody, my interest, everybody said, are you, are you crazy? But what place is you going to Haiti? 
You better think of it again. I said, don't worry. We'll be prepared in the wilderness. Some say prepare. Prepare. Some say prepare. Prepare. We'll be prepared in the wilderness. So I got myself ready. And I began to fast. 2009, December. So we were supposed to be there January 2010. So while we were seeking the face of God, I was about to break my fast and I was looking at some lettuce and some vegetables. And the woman of God called me from the Virgin Islands. And she said, are you ready because the witchcraft is so heavy in Haiti? Are you ready to go proclaim the gospel? I said, sure. And she said, you know, you have to be very careful because of the evil in that place. And when she said that, my eyes opened up all of a sudden. And I saw a coffin on my right and I saw a sword on my left. And I said, I see judgment coming to the nation of Haiti. They said, no, oh, no, 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 no. Haiti are lovely people. We want a good fresh word for them. I said, my sister, I'm seeing something else. When God sent Maurice Herodo, amen, the voice of healing to the place, they received the voice of love. But God is sending judgment now in that region. And until people see judgment, people will never learn righteousness. Hallelujah. Right there, immediately after that, we went to Haiti. Amen. General taught for fifth priest, went to the general hospital, ministered over there, went to the prison, the, to the major uh, prison. Hallelujah. We're to live on the seventh. Amen. On the seventh, we were heading to the airport. And the, 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 the apostle said, We need to pray for Haiti. Because in the three weeks in January, the third week of January, all the top warlocks. We go to the mountain and rededicate the land back to Satan. I said, really? I said, we'll join hands and pray. And I began to share my experience. Because during the end of the service, I was sharing to the people. I said, everybody leave the city of Domas, which is the capital city in Haiti. Leave the city and come back in two weeks. And I call the pastors forward and I give them this word. Hallelujah. Surprisingly, this is on Facebook too. I mean, you know, the pictures. I don't know how many people listen to this message. On the 8th, I was in the Virgin Island speaking for the full gospel businessman meeting. After the session, my phone starts ringing. Pastor, they need to talk to you, they need to talk to you. So I picked up the phone. He said, man, man of God, are you watching the news? I said, what news? He said, everything you spoke came to pass. I said, what is it? Someone said the 12th. 12. You say 12 is my special number. I don't know why. My shoe size is 12, September 12. My bed is just 12, 12, 12. That's it. So I know. Nobody will tell me. I know how they call up an apostle. Amen. But I left on the 7th and on the 12th, something happened. The whole place, earthquake erupted. 200,000 people died. Amen. So we tried to reach out, reach out. After three months, a pastor called us, the major pastor. You know what he said? The pastors and some of the people died. Only him and his family were counted. They lost. We don't even know whether all of them died or wherever it is. Only him and his family. After three months. Amen. When he said this to me, it was then I knew my call for the nations. So when God reveals something to you, stand in the gap. Repent. Because God is wanting you to change situations. Do you hear me? <laughs> stand up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I don't know what situation you brought in here. I don't know what attack you brought in here. I don't know what have afflicted you here. Hallelujah. Right now, I want you to begin to look unto God and begin to talk to the Lord. You know of some certain things that you want the Lord to do for you. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God now. Amen.
Begin to communicate to the Lord and begin to say, the Lord, I want you to do it for me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Rebe bebe ya shaba halalas. Ile mende rebe beke piya brolobos. Raba baba shande boho sukahaya. Ile mende le bebe ya barando re bebe osaya. Shaga da bahare de re bebe ya barandos. Ile mende le bebe ya barando re bebe osahaya. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Hallelujah. Raba baba shande boho. Sele mende le bebe ya barandesh. In Jesus' name. Amen. Say this, Lord, I Amen. I want to pray for you right now. Amen. And I tell you something. God is going to minister to you and pour his healing anointing upon you. Amen. The fire will release upon your spirit. But there are some body parts. Amen. That some of you are believing God to do in your life. God is going to heal you. Literally. Amen. God's hand will rest upon you. How many of you believe that? Are you ready for that? Yes. Amen. Now, there is no how. Please come back. I want you to see for me. There is no how. There is no how. This can happen in your life when you have not given your heart to Jesus. Amen. If you have never given your heart to Jesus, no prayer, nothing you will do. All your answers come within your come within the covenant with God. If you are listening to me now under the sound of my voice, and you've never given your heart to Jesus, and you say, Pastor, I am here. I want to rededicate my heart. I want to surrender unto you today. Please lift your hands up if you are here right now. And you've never given your heart to Jesus. Never. But you want to rededicate your heart to God. Lift your hands up right now. Lift your hands right now. Hallelujah. If you're there, please come forward. Come forward. Hallelujah. Come forward. If you never gave your heart to Jesus, you've never dedicated your heart to the Lord, please come forward quickly. Let me pray with you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Just like everyone is saved here. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody begin to pray in the spirit now. Pray in the spirit, pray in the Holy Ghost. Oh, you are too dull, you are too dull. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Let me have a dear son of a heart. Let me have a dear son of a heart. Let me have a dear son of a heart. Holy Spirit. Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit. Thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father, from mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Jesus, Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. It 
Put your hands wherever you're pain, that area you want the Lord to perfect. Strings. Prophetic strings. Hallelujah. Now put your eyes on Jesus now. Give me another key. Another key. Yes. You are violent there. Give me violent. Say it. I'm so proud of you. Violent. In the name that is above every other name, in the name of Jesus, right now as I pray, every infirmity, every sickness in the life of your people, in the name of Jesus, spirit of infirmity. Spirit of affliction, every disease and sickness in your body, every pain in your head, in your eyes, deformity in your blood, right now in the name of Jesus, I bind that spirit and I cast it out. Spirit of diabetes, loose that fellow in the name of Jesus. Let the creative hand of the Lord be released over you right now. In the name of Jesus, I release the hand of God. The creative hand of God over this people right now. Let the river of your healing break out to the atmosphere. Spirit of God, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, every sickness, every disease, dries up now. Fibro, dries up now. Every, every growth, every cyst, dries up the roots. In the name of Jesus. Pain in the legs, pain in the joints, pain in the back, disease and sickness in the ovaries, dries up, cancer, dries up. Yes, 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 every headache, every headache, insomnia, depression, in the name of Jesus, lose her, in the name of Jesus. Every blood disease, every oppression, right now, right now, right now, 
because it's coming out of you right now, right now, right now. Kill about it. Connect to the Holy Ghost. Connect to the Holy Ghost. Remedy of our enemy videos. Send them the Kepi of our dear. Remedy of the Katuna Maya. Jesus. God is giving that brother a clearer vision. A clearer vision. Your eyesight. God is opening your eyes. God is opening your eyes. I see God releasing his brightness. He's healing anointing upon your eyes. Yes, 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 yes. In the name of Jesus, your ears open. Your ears open. Your ears open. Your eyes open. Your eyes open. Your eyes open. Remember Yes, 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 yes. The attack over your heart right now. I speak healing upon your heart, upon your liver, upon your liver right now. Restoration, restoration. Healing anointing break forth upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 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 Somebody shout glory seven times. Glory. 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 In the name of Jesus. Finally, you remember your, your brother, your sister, going through a sickness. Right now. Keep them in your mind now. Right now. They are not here. But you want them to be healed wherever they are. Put your mind on them right now. The healing anointing is going to come. The same grace here. The hand of the Lord is coming upon you right now, wherever you are. And it shall come upon them. In the name of Jesus, let it say the healing anointing be extended wherever they are. Right now, from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Sicknesses dry up to the roots. In the name of Jesus, dry up to the roots. Dry up to the roots. Dry up to the roots. In Jesus' name. If you are here, and you have chronic medical issue, chronic medical prophecy, chronic medical case. Come forward quickly. Come forward. Come forward. Let me pray for you. Chronic medical case by the power in the Holy Ghost. By the power in the Holy Ghost. What is that for? You don't want to get quick. You don't have it. What is that? Put on that case. Yes. Crazy cases. Crazy cases. Crazy cases. Crazy situation. Crazy, crazy cases. Spirit of God. We are the pastors. We are the ministers. Please come forward quickly. Come forward. Ministers of God. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Go stand up the river. Spirit of the living God, pour the oil again, please. Let me pray the secretary. Let me pray the for Rocco Sopra Atas. Manika Nantere Ketura Kati Kiata. The same angel that stirred up the pool of Bethesda. They that everyone who got into the well got healed. Father, let your angels be released in the atmosphere. Let the river be stirred up now. Let the river be stirred up now. Be charged up with the healing anointing. As I pray for this one, sir. Every medical, medical, clinical, testimony, clinical words or prophecy over their lives, I cancel it now. I cancel it now. Lord, as I release upon them now, every spirit and the law of death, every law of death, every law of affliction, every law of oppression, dies now. Dies now. Dies now. As I lay my hands upon you, let the strength of God, the power of God, the abilities of God, the revival of God, the very life that quicken it, that mortal bodies back to life, the resurrection power that rose down from the dead. Let the same power quicken your mortal body and power rest on every lost organ in your body. In the name of Jesus, power, 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 power. In the name of Jesus, Araba Saya Madavai. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Receive. This is what you've been receiving. Thank you, Lord. Heal in the name of Jesus. Heal. Restoration. God is healing you. God is healing you. God is healing you. No more. No more this attack. In the name of Jesus, I come to that word and I release the healing power. The supernatural anointing comes upon you right now. Be restored. In the name of Jesus, be restored. 
Be restored, be restored. Back to life, back to life. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let every sickness and disease dry up to the roots. Dry up to the roots. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Come, come, come with this. Hallelujah. Come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you for, the, for you to be healed. But I say God is about to restore. It's a great restoration coming. Great restoration. But you have to release somebody. Forgive somebody. Give more thanks to forgive. Healing, restoration, healing and Close your eyes and let go. Restoration. Restoration. Healed in the name of Jesus. Healed in the name of Jesus. Your heart. Your mind. Thank God. The spirit of intercession, the office of intercession, the anointing to intercede. Let this grace come upon the people. The spirit of prayer, 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 groanings, groanings. Let it be released as I lay my hands upon the people. Set them on fire. Set them on fire. Set them on fire. By the power in the Holy Ghost. Power! Aha, that's it. 
Run about Shile Mahatana Maria. Receive it now, receive it now, receive it now, receive it now. Receive it now, receive it now, receive it now. Receive it now, receive it now. Receive it now. that cross that says all the way all the way are you that person that is here please come forward now are you the person that want to go all the way come out and pray please do something now and you're going to be the only one person that wants to stop right now See, the cross is a very painful one. It doesn't require pleasure. But if you mean business with God, you mean business with you. 
Amen. If you mean what? Business with God. He will take care of you. You, Lord, even if it means my life, I surrender all. Listen to me. When this oil comes upon you, he's going to separate you to himself. Jesus. This call is only for those who want the mysteries to be revealed to them. When I step and I begin to pray, I only see only one person in the spirit. Everybody close your eyes. Close your eyes. What disciples? Somebody say disciples. disciples. It's a hard call, and it comes with a cost. It's a cost. It's a price to pay. Father, I'm asking for this fellow. From a usual grace, a usual walk with you. If I came from New York to New York for this fellow, it is worth it. Lord. Lord, I commit your son unto you. Take this young man, make him your own. Help him, O God, even in the midst of his shortcomings. Rescue him, O God. Make him your voice. Make him your warrior. In the next 12 seasons of his life, free him, separate him, anoint him, and use him for your glory. Let the desires of your heart be poured upon you. I pray the Lord, even as I anoint him, that what you started with me will begin in his life. In Jesus' name. Somebody said amen. amen. Somebody said amen. amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. I see three people being crowned right now. Three people. I see a crowning coming upon them. Even as we are ministry. I see three crowning coming upon you right now. Amen. Three crowns. Just lift your hands wherever you are. While you are sitting. Lord. Crown me. Crown me. Crown me. I see a crown coming upon three individuals. Thank you Holy Spirit. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Are we giving our offering yet? Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give something to the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. How many of you are blessed today? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. Day one, day two, and day three. So tomorrow, amen. Uh, tomorrow, six p. Is it six p. M. Sir, six p. M.
Sing that song again. Eyes on the sparrow. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
this your daughter, this your daughter. Let a fresh anointing from the top of her to the soles of her feet be placed on her heart. You know the reason why you chose Samuel. Not very often, I pray for your words. For this one, as I pray, connect her to you. Lord, I pray that the very hunger that kept us on fire, the very hunger that has been released all over the world, let the same hunger be released over this one. Keep our heart steady for you. Set her heart on fire. Separate her from her friends. Keep her on the altar. Let your beauty, your glory be upon her now. From the top of her head to the soles of her feet, let a fresh fire release of her heart. Lord, Lord, write her name among those who you will use in this end time. Mark her name, write her name among those who will change nations and cities for you. Father, let her hands never lack prosperity. In the name of Jesus, I release unto you the prophetic oil, the prophetic anointing, and the prophetic grace. Jesus, as you go back, I pray for a surprise of favor. In every, in every time and everywhere I go minister, you've come. But especially, let it be a surprise. I superimpose unusual favor this season as you go back. Favor that you cannot understand. That when you go back, I feel you're going in now. That the favor will rest upon you. If you've never known favor, Today, 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 as you go back, you and your husband will experience unusual favor in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Man of God, 
How many pastors are here? Pastors, you are here. You are a pastor here. I know this. Amen. Pastors. Yeah. When his children were. Amen. Please join Pastor. Come. I said, hold your hands. I'm praying that every helper that is connected to you, every man, every woman that has been appointed, you see, let me say this to you. Peter, Jesus was very strategic when he prayed. Something very unique about him. The first person he selected as a disciple was who? Peter. Why? Because Peter had a boat that can transport Jesus everywhere. First person, the next time he was about to go into Jerusalem, he said, I want to go into that place that rejected me, but I don't want to go there alone. So he said, He sent two men to go and lose the donkey. And these two men went to untie a donkey. And Jesus rode on that donkey. And everybody began to shout, Hosanna, Hosanna. I said, Let me hear upon you. Every donkey that has your name on it, every leader, every king, every intercessor. That has been sent to you, Lord. I am praying that they will be released on tight in the name of Jesus. In this season, all your resources that has been caged, tied down, will be unplugged in the name of Jesus. All the prophecies must manifest in this season in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, by divine authority and by your power and by your anointing, in the name of Jesus, all your blessings, all your other parts, today as I lay my hands upon you, in the name of Jesus, they shall manifest. Today is a blessing, but tomorrow night, yeah. I like it as tomorrow morning there's nothing, so I will spend time praying. Jesus. Amen. I don't think the Lord will allow me to sleep today, it's gonna be beautiful. So, tomorrow night, I'm coming with the lightning of God. Someone said, The lightning of God, lightning. I'm coming with the ark of God's covenant to engage the oil. The Lord sent me to help my brother here. Are you hearing me? All those scattered folks, scattered sheep will come back. All the scattered sheep will come back. Because your name will begin to spread like the, the fireworks in the spirit. God will make your name great. Yes. Hallelujah. Shout this, say, shout this, say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Say, I am, I am blessed. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. I am more than a conqueror. I am more than a My name is Blessings. I'm a carrier of God's blessings. I'm a, I'm a walking miracle. From today, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue of the wicked, I condemn it now. In the name of Jesus, no spirit of affliction or oppression is permitted against me on my family. As I live here, I move with the company of angels. I'm surrounded with angels. I'm surrounded with grace. In Jesus' name, I am blessed. I have the power. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. Shall we share the grace now? Hallelujah. Everybody, lift your hands. Father, we thank you. We give you the praise. I thank you for the conclusion of tonight. Let us let everyone be kept from every danger, from every backlash, from every anger, from every conflict that awaits them at home. Preserve this one with favor. Keep this one standing. Let no form of discouragement have access to their heart. Preserve these destinies in Jesus' name. Amen. My brother keeps talking about a beautiful chicken out there, Portuguese chicken restaurant. <laughs> Amen. He keeps talking about it. And I said, I will have the time to visit this place before I go. Amen. Hallelujah. If you've never visited chicken, visited that place, go visit. How was it? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh? Show the skiller. Wow. Praise God. Amen. You guys need to visit that place. Hallelujah. Well, let's, let's share the grace. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Say, surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, as well. God bless you. Bye-bye. Six o'clock tomorrow. Amen. Oh, downstairs, we still have t-shirts. It's about twelve dollars. Downstairs, the glory, the glory army. It's the glory army. Amen. Glory army t-shirts. God bless you. Thank you.